This tutorial will show you how to process an image in JS9. Make sure you are signed into the Youth Astronet Activity Portal. From there, click on the Microobservatory Robotic Tools. Then, use the images in JS9. This will open the Image Processing Tool. You'll have a few options to open an image in JS9. If you haven't yet requested any images from the Microobservatory Robotic Telescopes, you can open one of the images from the Archive Images list. If you've already requested images from the telescopes, they will be found under the My List drop-down menu. You can also open images saved to your computer by selecting Image, then Open. But remember, they have to be a FITS file to work in JS9. I'm going to open a Whirlpool Galaxy that I took on a previous night. As you can see, it now appears under Open Images in the My List drop-down menu. Now that the image is open, you can adjust how it is displayed. Right now it doesn't look like much, but we have a number of tools to help us bring out the details. There are two sets of sliders below the image. The low and high brightness limits represent the threshold for which pixel values are displayed at white and black, with shades of gray in between. The stretch and shift help you further refine at what pixel values the shades of gray are displayed. If it is a faint object like galaxies or nebula, setting the scale to log might help you find the object in your image and it is often the best trick for bringing out the detail. Once you find your object in the image, scroll your mouse over the blank background sky to observe the pixel value displayed below. This will help you determine where to set your low and high brightness limits. In this case, my background pixel values are in the mid 300s, so I'm going to bring my scroll bar for low brightness up a bit. Many of the pixels in my object are just above that value in the high 300s to 500s, so I'm going to bring the display value down for my high brightness limit as well. Now I'm going to fine tune where the gray values lie using the stretch and shift until I like how the image is being displayed. Watch the color bar as I use the stretch and shift tools to adjust the image display. Stretch allows you to widen or narrow how many pixel values the gray is displayed over, while Shift allows you to move the display up and down over different values. Once you're happy with your display of your image, you can add some false color. Choose color from the drop-down menu and choose the color map you'd like to be displayed. In addition to red, green, and blue, which are usually there to color the images that are taken with those specific filters, there are some fun options like Fire Sky, neon, and cool, which use different color palettes to color pixels within very specific ranges. Once you're happy with your image, don't forget to save it to your computer. You can do this by selecting Image Save As. Make sure to save your image as a PNG file. This will save your processing and allow you to upload the image to the Youth Astronet portal. There are a host of other options available within JS9 and are useful for turning your astro photos into your own personal masterpieces or to help you better understand the data that is coming back from these telescopes. So make sure to check out the other tutorials to learn more. Enjoy your image processing and we look forward to seeing your images on the portal.